Why do I think negative? There is something called negativity bias. To try to explain this, let's go back to when men used to live in caves. They were learning how to build a fire. They needed to hunt every day for food. They live in a difficult environment where they face a lot of constant threats from predators to fighting rival tribes, and they have to defend themselves. So those who were more attuned or aware of potential threats were more likely to survive. And they develop a constant alertness to what potentially can harm them. So we can see that human brains have been recording experiences, learning from them, adapting and evolving to survive and thrive. Basically, focusing on what could go wrong, help them survive, and that was helpful for them. But what happens is that over time, that constant alertness to potential threats became ingrained in their mind and their biology, and that was passed on to generations. This tendency to focus and remember negative experiences more than positive ones is what we call now the negativity bias. Here's the thing. Fast forward to today, we no longer live in those conditions here, but our brains still do the same. Now, it's helpful to remember negative experiences to avoid them in the future or not make the same mistakes, but what is not helpful is to constantly be in that negative state. Okay, we now know our brains have a tendency to think negatively, but that doesn't mean we have to stay the same. Now, we can train ourselves to think more positively. Now, let us talk briefly about what happens in our brains. There is a part of our brain called the amygdala that processes our emotions. Think of it as our brain's alarm system. When we have an experience in life, good or bad, the amygdala processes the emotion and activates the hippocampus to memorize that event. So any event full of strong emotions, especially negative ones, is more likely to be stored as a vivid and strong memory because the amygdala is especially reactive to negative triggers. Our brain is designed to learn from negative experience so we can avoid them in the future. And while this negativity bias helps our ancestors survive and still in this time can be helpful, it can sometimes work against us. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you for listening, and I hope this short video was helpful. I invite you to follow me to see the next series of videos on breaking the habit of negative thinking. The goal with this is not only to help you understand, but help you become more aware of the fact that you can change your thinking, and most importantly, to encourage you to begin reprogramming your mind to start the habit of thinking positively. See you on my next video.